In this video, we will talk about how to start using Verdi by preparing the database. The database will include the KDB, which is the static design data, and the FSDB, which is the dynamic simulation data. Now let's look at what you can expect to learn from this video. Firstly, we will talk about how to dump the FSDB from VCS. Then we will talk about how to use the UFE, which is the unified front end, to generate the KDB. That means you can generate both simulation database and the debug database in one step. Then we will talk about how to import the design and FSDB into Verdi. Then you can start your debugging. Before running the simulation, there are two environment variables we need to set. The first one is the Verdi home, and the second one is the VCS home. You need to specify them to indicate the Verdi and VCS install directory. There are some other variables you can use to constrain your simulation run, but they are all optional, so we will not talk about the detail in this video. After setting up the environment, you need to add the FADB dumping command into your test bench before running simulation. Usually, we will put the dumping command to an initial block so the command can be triggered when running the simulation. The simplest way is just to add the dollar FADB down vast dumping command, and then everything will follow the default setting to generate the FSDB. Of course, you can use some other dumping commands and options to constrain the dumping. If you are interested, you can check the documentation for the detail. To run the simulation, let's just reuse the original VCS command. What we need to do is to add two extra options to the VCS command to generate KDB and dump FSDB. The first option we need to add is the dash KDB. It tells VCS to also generate KDB during compilation. The second option we need to add is the dash debug access. This option opens the debug accessibility for simulation database, so the FSDB can be dumped. If you want to run Verdi in interactive mode, you need to add the extra plus O argument to the dash debug access option. To open more debug accessibility like setting breakpoints, force signals, and so forth. For post-processing, dash debug access is enough. But if you like to run Verdi in interactive mode, then dash debug access plus O is required. In this case, let's add the dash debug access plus O so the database can be used for both modes. These two options are all in LCA stage, so let's add the dash LCA options. Now the compilation has been done. As you can see in the console, it tells you that the KDB has been generated. If you look at this directory, you can find the CMV Dider, which is the simulation database. The KDB is also inside this database. Now that's involved Verdi in interactive mode, which means you can run simulation inside Verdi. Simply type in simv verdi and it will open Verdi and attach the simulation. Now Verdi is open and the simulator has been attached. You can now use the command in Verdi to control the simulation. What if you like to run simulation first and then use Verdi to debug in post-processing mode? In that case, you can just type simv to run the simulation first, and the FADB will be generated. Since we didn't specify any extra option for the FADB net, by default the simulation will be generated the novas.fadb file. You don't need to worry about where to find the KDB. In Verdi, the KDB will import it automatically with the FSDB. So what we need to do is just to load the FADB and the KDB will be taken care of automatically. You can use the dash SSF option to read the FADB to Verdi.
Now both FLDB and KDB are loaded into Verdi. You can start to debug your design. For example, if you like to see the waveform of a signal, you can simply drag and drop it from the source code view to the waveform view to see its value. Besides loading design automatically from FSDB, Verdi still provides the dash DBDI option to load the KDB itself. This option can be used to import design if you just want to load the KDB without FADB, or you have moved the CMV Dider to another directory, or you had changed the CMV Dider to another name. Now let's use this dash DBDI option to load the KDB only without FSDB. Just point it to the CMV Dider directory or the new directory name if you had changed it. Now the design has been loaded and you can start to debug the source code. You can choose to load the FSDB in later stage when needed. Now let's look at what we have learned from this video. Firstly, we have learned how to add the FSDB dumping task to your design. Secondary, we have learned how to add the dash KDB and the dash debug access to VCS. And if you want to run in interactive mode, you need to add the dash debug access plus O. And finally, we have learned how to invert Verdi. In interactive mode, just simply type simv verdi And in post-processing mode, you can invert simv first and then use verdi ssf to read the FADB file. Then the KDB will be automatically loaded. And if the CMV Dider has been moved to another place or have been renamed, you can use Verdi DBDI option to read a new database. This is the end of the video. Thank you for your time.